Hi everyone, Zez here. I have a very special video today. I am in the CRT epicenter of the United States of America and by extension the world. We are here in Harrisonburg, Virginia. I am at the home of one Mr. Steve Nutter, Retrotech USA himself. I've been staying here for a few days and him, uh, he and his family are tremendous hosts. I've really been looked after here. I've had a great time. But when you're staying at the home of Steve, let me tell you, there are retro and CRT surprises all over the place. So I wanted to give you my tour, the Zez tour of the CRT bunker here in Harrisonburg. Let's start with some bad boys in this garage. Let's go. So look at this. These are the big boys that don't fit down into the bunker, into the basement. This is a 32 inch PVM. It's just, when you look at each of these three screens, they are just a ginormous amount of glass and plastic. And they're so much bigger in person. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these big old TVs from back in the day. That's 32. This is 32 as well, Steve. This is 32. And then we've got 36 inches of Japanese engineering. I, I bet you you've never seen a CRT that big. They look amazing. And if you're a fan of the Retrotech channel, you, this set will be familiar to you. Steve's done his best to repair it. It's still not in working order. It's a work in progress. But this is a beautiful wide screen with the Trinitron tube there. These are too big to even bring downstairs. So what we're gonna do now is have a look in the CRT bunker. Before that, we are gonna take a brief detour in the lounge room. I tell you what, this guy is keeping it real. Let's go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> to prove Steve is keeping it real and he walks the walk and talks the talk, this guy has got 32 inches of Toshiba CRT in the lounge room, not only proving that he's keeping it real, but he has a very sympathetic family as well. Who else is gonna let them keep this monstrosity in the main room here? Now, we're watching some Super Mario on Roku, but there's one thing I wanna show you down there. Steve is using one of those $5 Amazon HDMI to AV converters. And I know you're getting heart palpitations. You're thinking this is, oh my God, this has got lag. Bob is losing his mind. He's fallen off his chair. Roger's going nuts. Why are we using, we know that this device has a variable lag between one and three frames and only outputs 480i. So why is it even good? Because if you only wanna watch the TV and not play games, it's a great solution, five bucks. The only real problem is that it doesn't have aspect ratio control. So we're watching Super Mario here, even the four by three gets pushed in in the middle. But for five bucks, considering that any other solution would be 80 to 100 bucks, maybe a GBS control, maybe something else more, it is perfect if you just wanna watch TV. All right, let's go downstairs because we've got some special in store. When we think about sites of American cultural importance, maybe the Texas School Book Repository, maybe uh, Memphis in Tennessee, Graceland, where Elvis did his thing, but this, ladies and gentlemen, is number three on the list. Let's go down into the CRT bunker. Let's do a cold. <laughs> Look around this monument to retro tech, to video games, to Americana. This beautiful wood grain CRT bunker. We've got the computers over here. This is where all the good stuff happens. Donna is on the wall, making sure our geometry is nice and straight. Now we've got here 1080p plasma. Steve bought it new back in the day. This is straight up just 480p out of the Wii, no upscaling, no nothing. Component going straight into here and it looks great. It looks a little bit like a plasma. It's got that plasma look to it. I really like it and it's very era authentic. Consoles, lots of games. No time to play these games. What do you sit around playing games? Oh my God. Laser disc. Beautiful laser disc player. And what I enjoyed from Steve as well, on Her Majesty's Secret Service, James Bond, the one Australian James Bond. 
There was only one, George Lazenby. He only got one go. After that, they threw us out. Beautiful pickup there. We've seen this Trinitron, this 20 inch Trinitron on a few of Steve's videos as well. VGA, such a masterpiece. And this is definitely one of, this is a retirement piece for Steve. He's gonna be selling this in a few years and putting his kids through college. Don't you worry about that. Over here, Polaroid. Yep, this is authentic. Coming in there, gun con. Beautiful cabinet here, and also a timely reminder, now's the time to buy your Xbox 360, your PS3, your Wii. I'm not necessarily saying those games are going to the moon, but they'll never be cheaper than they are right now. Excellent collection from Steve. Now what we've got over here, I want to introduce both of these items at once here. We'll pull across the beautiful Neo Geo cabinet. Now this set that's sitting on here playing Earthworm Jim, this is the same tube that's in the Neo Geo cabinet. And you know where Steve got this from? You know where he picked this up from? The side of the road. Right, with his family in the car. Imagine that, you're like a kid, you're like, Dad, what do you do, old TVs? What a dork. And then they just stops on the side of the road, hauls this bad boy into the car, and super convenient that it's got exactly the same tube. As we come over here, we've got the Mr. Cade. This is decked out with a Mr. Cade. We've got Neo Geo going over here. And you can see for updates and for uh, for spectators, we have a nice HDMI screen. We've got the 8-bit dough controller there. I've got one of those, it's great. Now, just want to keep in mind, this thing came down those stairs. That ramp, there's no, there's no back door entrances, there's no secret compartments here. That had to come out, and I dare say, this thing will never leave this basement. So this is, the games room. This is the amazing place. We watched Super Bowl here last night with Steve's family. We had a great time. He made some chili. He's a pretty good cook. This is where we are spending most of the time enjoying the games. Now we are going to go into the super secret back workshop area. And we're going to find out what amazing things that Steve is working on. Now I'm gonna take the camera and we're gonna take a tour of Steve's backstage as we walk in here. This is the workshop, this is the real behind the scenes. Let's go in here. Now this is what you see when Steve's on stream, when he's talking to you on the chat, giving you dropping all that good knowledge. This is what Steve is seeing from this perspective here. That's the workshop. Now let's look behind what we're seeing a few items here. That dismantled PVM looks great. This is the Klein Spectrometer. And it's kind of hard to see there. This is almost like a jeweler's uh, little device uh, that you can put up to a CRT to help you calibrate the convergence. Look at here, beautiful PVMs there, representing Mike Chi with the RetroTINK 2X. My life in gaming. Steve just loves dropping his famous friends. It's beautiful. Look at that minute TV, eight inch PVM. Steve's been getting into ghetto blasters. That's in really nice condition, very, very nice condition. And come down here, tubes, the Sony Watchman, those, that's the RF demodulators uh, meant for PVMs that Steve did a video on and they're therefore jacked up the price. <laughs> not for long. Core graphics. He's got caps. I mean, he's using these caps nonstop, all day, every day, every job. Different number of caps we've got there. So let's keep it on the tour. What do we find down here? A little medical grade PVM, you know it, because it's white. Extron, Extron, Extron. We've got devices up here, the old JVC VCR. Luigi's Mansion. Donna is getting another seat in there. Very nice, love it to see. And as we come down here, that's the prison TV. Steve's done a few videos on this one. Tremendous green. I mean, that's stylish. If you're gonna go to prison, you may as well do it in style. Original Genesis case, but I like this one. This is a clear shell Genesis one case. It looks great. It looks very nice. Top loaders, we've got our GCs up there. 3DO. He's kicking it in that beautiful little uh, small, that's probably like a what, 13, 14 inch Trinitron there. Oh my God. 
has Steve gone socialist? We've got some SCART cables and they're pretty, pretty beefy there. So we got a whole bunch of stuff there. Now this is the rack. I would love to have a rack like this myself. You've got the 14 inch PVM there and it just spins. Look, doo, doo, doo. happy to spin around. Very easy to move because this is also a place of work. Underneath the boiler. Sure, why not? Let's have a few CRT tubes, more CRT tubes here. This is the game collection. We've got different controllers. There's your N64. What's that, Dreamcast? That's the, the fishing rod here. All the good stuff. Uh, the Konami light gun. Uh, what was really great about the Konami light gun is the second player. See there, the second player gun was connected via this uh, old telephone jack. And that was very good because you could, I've got uh, one gun for the Genesis, one gun for the Super Nintendo, but the second gun can work on either console. So a little bit here. Now this is where coming to the ass end of the tour, as we say in Australia. And this is where the goods are. Let's look at this. Multi-format, so many multi-formats up here. Multi-format 14 inch with the uh, side there. Now this is even a later model. It's got that Sony memory card there. And look, this is how it goes. If y'all have ever posted a CRT, you're familiar with the cracking. JVC, that old Sony, they're beautiful. That's another 14 inch, again, multi-format, very nice. Montgomery Ward. And it's got that recessed, it's got the glass out the front, that recessed tube behind it, very retro, old school style. If you're an old fan of Steve's channel, you'll be familiar with the CRT projector. This is just unbelievable, huge and deep as well. And that glass there, number, very nice condition. PVM sitting right there, the Mac, non-stop more. That's, that's, a, that's a BVM right there, that's a BVM. Look at that, the old Commodore monitor. And that's a JVC professional monitor there. So that's just one. Oh, remember when Steve and Bob and I did the lag testing? This is one of the very first flat screen PVMs. It's a PVM, it's got the PVM notation. And uh, you know, it's not that great, but it was one of the first. And then let's look up here, more, more, more. Super fine pitch. Ikigami, I've only seen a couple of the Ikigamis in Steve's collection, but again, that's why I'm calling this one of the most his important historic sites in the United States. And one thing I noticed, if I pull this bad boy out, dun, 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 dun. there's Darth Vader hanging out there in the background. But Darth, we know Darth's got some good taste because this is a SVHS player. So a little bit higher resolution than your regular model and DJ Dex because any day now it could be DJ Steve. DJ Steve's doing it. Now we've got a few of the big boys here to round up our two of these are 20 inches. So this is the Olympus, which is just a rebadged and it even says that rebadged Trinitron. Rebadged. And there we could see there when we pull out, they are identical. Just a little bit of color difference on the Olympus but the proof that it is really just a rebadged Trinitron. So this is HR, this is gonna be a BVM right here, a multi-format BVM. I can tell that because it says HR right there, high resolution. And then what do we got here? Big old, so that's a nice Vega, so that's a Sony, that's a consumer. Uh, is that, oh, that's an Atari. That's the 52, that's, oh my God, it's a bit dusty. That's the 52 there and some old computers. So we've got these, these storage shelves come from Costco. And I know they cost, they were 200 each. We saw them at Costco and they are solid. You can see the last modification Steve did was put a bit of wood down there, helps the uh, CRT sit a little nicer. But for 200 bucks from Costco, uh, they are extremely solid and they will hold up those PVMs as we round off the tour here. More 14 inch, more 14 inch. So many jobs to do. Steve is not lacking for work right now. 
if you are interested in Steve's services, what you need to do is sign up on his Patreon. You're gonna have to wait a few months, but you can chat with him, he's gonna help you out if you need that CRT repair. So that's it. This has been the Zez Tour of Steve's CRT Bunker, one of the most culturally important sites in the world. I'm not exaggerating there, in the world. I wanna thank Steve. He has been a tremendous host to me. Him and his family have been very nice, except this weird guy from uh, across the other side of the world. Dude. So I greatly appreciate that. Steve is truly doing God's work here. So keep supporting, follow me, follow Steve, follow Steve's Patreon to encourage his work. My name is Ez, I'll see you next time. Work better, and the old bloke was straight into it. Well, maybe what you need to do, go down to Washington and help them. They need a bit of that help down there. And then without missing a beat, the old lady grabs her purse and whacks him. Like, don't you start with that, bam! Gives him a good old <laughs> whack across the chest. So she's seen yeah. this conversation before. She's she's like, yeah, don't start. Yeah, don't start. It's like, guy's on vacation. Give him a break. He doesn't need to be.